Good morning, and here's your Holden Beach report for the uh, Tuesday, the last Tuesday of August, August 27th. We have a uh, low tide right now. It's barely, barely anybody out here. It's a beautiful morning. I thought it was going to be warmer, but it feels pleasant. Uh, there's not a lot of wind, unfortunately, which I uh, hope that doesn't spell out bugs. There's a guy sitting off the coast fishing. Um, but we got low tide, we got lots and lots of beach. I don't see any shells yet, but I just got out here and it's a very hazy morning as well. It was, uh, I had to have on my, it's after seven o'clock and I had to have on my beams, uh, my headlights because it was so much fog getting over here. But the fog seems to have dispelled itself in this area. But you can see the haziness down there. You can't even see hmm, more than, uh, I'd say about, about, a, I don't know, 50 kilometers at least. This way it's actually a lot clearer, probably because, I don't know, it's hard to tell why. Hmm. There you see the Holden Beach Tower, the water tower. You see the quadruple cat ear building uh, way down there on the right. Of course, there's no buildings on the left except for maybe Atlanteans. Um, but on the right we see a quadruple cat ear building that actually is in the spot close, if not in the exact same spot, where the pavilion used to be. The pavilion I lament. It was my favorite place to hang out when I was a kid. All right. Uh, one of, one of. Mostly I, I just went there to be an anchor point to put my bicycle and get out on the beach. But again, beautiful day. Hope you guys are doing well. It's Tuesday, a terrific Tuesday. We got some Transformer stuff hopefully coming up today. Uh, I did get the new Optimus Prime. We'll be looking at him hopefully. Uh, I'm at that point where sometimes my live feeds keep on getting like distorted because of the signal and then if I do a video that's over 10 minutes it, it's it doesn't transfer sometimes so it's like all that for nothing uh, well what can you do all right well let's look at this we do have some shells down here let's feel what the water temperature is the other day when I checked it it was 86.5 degrees which is warmer than the atmosphere right now the atmosphere is about 70 Probably 75. Oh, it's nice and cooler at this part because this is the shallow section. As you go deeper in, of course, the, the heat is stored better in water because it goes three, not three feet, 30 feet down. Whereas the heat in the soil goes anywhere from three to six feet down maximum uh, and it's storage. So if you want to build a house that's impervious to heat or cold, depending on where you're at, um, because I hear that it gets deeper and deeper as you go farther north, you have to go make your building underneath at least three to six feet of dirt, um, depending on the soil type as well, of course. Uh, anyway, that's just a little bit of science there for you. Uh, it may be not pervious to your uh, region of the universe. Um, I know some areas, they go deeper. Some areas have different types of soil. It depends on a lot of things. The sun's angle to your area relatively throughout the year and also um, types of soil and types of environment really. Uh, we're closer to the sea levels so we have a higher barometric pressure than people who live in the mountains. That's going to have an effect not only on that but also uh, you don't get as burnt as easily I guess down here because we have more uh, shielding from the radiation but I don't think my chances either way. That sun has not been uh, guarded from human flesh. For the last 4,400 years, back whenever the canopy was protecting humans and giving them longer lives, but death still killed them. All right, well, y'all have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna go for a walk.